All right, hi everyone. Um, if you're catching this live stream, great. If you didn't know about Greg's Ride to the Races, which I am doing, I'll explain it, but I'm Greg White. This is Jeff Wheel from Arai, and we are in Arai right now in Pennsylvania, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the helmet I'm gonna be using for the Greg's Ride to the Races. If you hadn't seen the original video, uh, as I keep bumping the table, and I'm sure that the GoPro is bouncing around a little bit. Uh, I am going to be taking a Ducati Multistrada V4S, courtesy of Hudson Valley Motorcycles, in New York. Richie Alexander and his entire crew of people um, are lending me this motorcycle for the summer. And I'm going to be riding to six, I think, six of nine Moto America races. Possibly 10 if Coda happens, uh, we'll have to see. And maybe a couple of archery tournaments as well. So we've done the first leg of the trip. We picked up the bike. Jeff actually rode up to New York uh, to Richie's dealership um, and met us up there. And then we rode back down here just about, what, 150 miles-ish. Yeah, got my first taste of the bike. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. I got to roll through a bunch of different settings. All that stuff's going to be explained over the next couple of weeks with the Greg's Ride to the Races. But we wanted to take this opportunity to really talk about the helmet. You saw that, that I'm using this helmet, but it's not going to be this exact helmet. So, Jeff, tell us what helmet we have here and why am I using it? Okay, so the X-T4 is built around Adventure Touring. Um, it has a peak, so if you go off-roading with it, you can kind of come down if you're behind somebody and getting roosted, so you get blocked to roost a little bit has the shield so if you're street riding well that helps you out with the street riding because you want a shield on there yeah but the beauty of this helmet is actually you can use it three different ways you can put take the shield off and use just the peak it's like a motocross helmet so you can put a set of goggles on mm -hmm. um, if you want you can actually put a set of goggles on and pull the shield down so if you're really off-roading and it's really muddy out there and you oh want, really yeah, i didn't know that yeah so you can have like a second option that mm -hmm. you can just pick the shield up so if it's a real mud mud fest you can have a little bit of option with it but honestly, the XT4, we were the first ones to really breach into the the uh, adventure touring market with the original DS. God, that was back in the late 90s, I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, but the helmet just works incredibly for adventure riding. Um, so it matches perfectly with the Multistrada. One of the things that, because Greg's ride from here is going to be a little bit farther. But what's, what's it to home for you, about eight hours? Uh, probably about six. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're on the hit for his ride home we're actually going to pull this peak off so that when he's traveling at 80 90 miles an hour it's not catching the wind um in the legal <laughs> allowed areas because there are some areas that you do that not you... 90 but yeah <laughs> may, yeah yeah maybe, maybe um but uh but it also works great for the i mean greg has his cardo on there which works really great we were back and forth talking about people dri and their bad driving through new jersey you sure were <laughs> uh, so we're just going to get them all set up and one of the things that we never really got to do with greg before because he's only been able to every time he's stopped in the office before it's only been quick and going to an archery tournament or something like that um we're actually going to have a chance to sit down and i'm going to take care of fitting him and i'm also going to put install the cardo system for him to make it a really really good for him that he's able to hear hear really well sweet um so yeah it's 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 the perfect piece for what you're doing here okay um so yeah uh but we do actually i'm going to change this helmet out for greg because one of the things is we uh we we, we wanted to make sure greg was seen really well um and i wanted him to be really excited about it so you know to kind of get him going on this first leg of the trip we got him this black frost to just kind of get going um, but when it comes next we've got a couple things for him so we've got brand new awry helmet bags oh cool um, um, so greg this is a backpack of the whole nine yards so when uh greg needs extra space because he's already almost filled up all of his luggage with all the crap he has i know well i had yeah i had to get on an airplane <laughs> to fly up here but uh, but this will be nice if he, if he absolutely needs it, he can use it as a backpack, actually ride with the backpack. This is awesome. Uh, so it fits the helmet really nicely. It has some extra extra pieces on it and stuff. Yeah, I can see that this is for extra shield yeah, or extra, for shield yeah, or whatever. Shield. Yeah. But, I mean, Greg, that. you know, is boring and he always he likes to use clear shields. One of the other I things, am. I am the worst <laughs> with that. I am boring. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to set Greg up with a, a clear anti-fog shield. Um, okay. It's been pretty cold. It was... 27 degrees when i left my house this morning which was <laughs> really really cold yeah. um so you know when it gets that cold you got to worry about fogging and all that kind of stuff 
um, especially when you're riding, like we've riding through Terrytown, and it was just so slow. Yeah. Um, that you know you got to crack the shield a little bit. This will actually help prevent that. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're gonna get for Greg is something a little bit more flashy. So I'll take this one. Okay. And you take this one. Now that has the cardo system in it that we need to pull out, and yeah. nothing. I didn't really mount anything. So yeah, can I can I unbox this? Absolutely. So this is the one you said that you were you thought would be best for for the trip. This is the one I'm gonna be using. For like the whole summer, yeah, like the eight months or whatever I'm gonna ride. Well, I know how flashy you like to be. Oh boy! Because you know you're you're such a flashy guy yourself. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, me, Mr. Flash. Um, All so right, so in in an awry, if you get it right, that's the box. So the box is pretty special. Um, what do you get here? So these are the side pods to use the shield without the the, uh, the peak on it okay and then there's an instruction manual that you should absolutely 1000 percent read the instruction <laughs> manual every once in a while um with some and you get stickers in and, here and you get stickers so your kids will be very very happy yeah or you yeah well but i'll tell you what though to be honest if you get an awry helmet and you do stick a sticker on your car we notice we we actually <laughs> rode by a couple people that had motorcycles in the back of their truck and we were rolling up and since we had the communication we were like are you i was like jeff are you looking for an awry sticker right now i was like of course i am why not? So you can be an adult too. All right, here's the big reveal on the helmet that I'm going to be using on Greg's Ride of the Races this season as I'll be going to, I believe, six Moto America events this year. Uh, there'll be more information about it, you know, all over the place as to where I'm going to be riding because you, if you are part of the Rever app and the Rever community and you join my community, Greg's Garage podcast, I believe, is the community for the ride, um, you'll be able to track my riding while I'm doing it live and possibly even meet up with me. So here it is. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. So now no one will miss you on the road. Yes, no one's gonna miss me on the road. What is this? What, 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 how do we, like, what's the model? Do you it, remember? This is the XD4 cover, uh, yellow, fluorescent yellow frost. Um, so it's, we like, I, for me, for dirt, Frost really works well because it cleans up well, mm -hmm. um, and you don't get scratched or anything like that, which is really really nice. Has a little bit of camo, so when you go you go to an archery tournament, nobody will make fun of you. That's right, yeah, hundred uh, percent. But, but it also has the big yellow stripes on it, so that way, it's you're visible out there on the road, yeah. which is a really really important thing. And when you are on AriAmericas.com looking at paint jobs, and there are some that are defined as frost and some that are not. What's the distinction? Um, it, it'll actually say frost in the graphic. Uh, yeah. So like this is the, the... But what is frost? What does frost mean? Oh, the frost is the matte finishing. Okay, so if you see yeah. frost, it's matte finish versus a glossy finish. Dude, this is sweet. Thank you so much. And it's got great vents. There's vents here. Can you explain though, like, you know, because I have often had questions about how you work the vents. I mean, it just seems like either I'm gonna just leave them all wide open or I'm gonna shut them off because it's cold. It's a terrible idea. Okay, well there you go. So terrible. the one thing that's really important is you always keep these rear vents open because this is where the heat's gonna escape from. And ah, that's okay. what's really important because no matter what, if you close all the vents, there's still air coming up underneath mm -hmm. the sun. Mm -hmm. So you want somewhere for that heat to escape from. And a lot of times a heating or a fogging issue when you're riding comes exactly from having all the vents closed because the, the heat is actually contained all inside the helmet. Uh -huh. So that's really, really important. Now, when it's a little bit warmer, you open up these two vents in the front and now you got some nice pieces that'll make it really easy to get some more airflow in. And okay. of course the big honk and chin vent that brings in tons of air. The XD4 is actually kind of special because it has these two little slider vents on the inside. I noticed that, yeah, when I got the other one, yeah. Um, and it actually goes through that you can, the vents actually open up these two vents up here. So if, again, if you're a mutter, you want to close all that stuff. Okay. Um, and if it's cold like it is, you're probably going to close it up. Okay. Uh, but always, 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 these just stay open. So what you're saying is we should always leave the back vents open. That's kind of it. But it was kind of neat that you re mentioned Rever. So, Two years ago, now it's two years, it's almost two years ago, uh, we went on a trip. We took a whole bunch of editors to Japan, and I called you up, and I said, Greg, you want to go to Japan? Got a, got a ticket for you. We're ready to go, man. And I, and we're talking, and you go, well, what's the date? And I told you the date, and you were, you go, yeah. I'm going to be at New Jersey. Yeah, was it Jersey? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, it broke my heart. But, I have had so many chances to go to Japan, being in the motorcycle industry as long as I have, and every single trip either, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen or got canceled or something. So I thought, this is the one. This is the one. Because I know this trip's not going to get canceled. 
and you couldn't. We had a race. <laughs> we had a race that weekend. So you got to call a race while I was in Japan. Yeah. Riding through the, it was actually kind of cool. We went to Mount Hirana, mm -hmm. which is a very, very famous uh, drifting road. They actually yeah. make cartoons about it and stuff. And it, I mean, it would double back on itself. It was the most incredible ride. You missed such a good time. Right. Um, but uh -huh. we actually used Rever the, all, in Japan. In Japan mm. for all the media guys, and we we actually recorded the tour. If you if you choose if you search Arai Helm, I think it's Arai Americas on Rever. Mm -hmm. You'll actually be able to see the route we took. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean it, the Rever app is actually kind of cool because you can go in there and you can check them out and you can go. You know, if I went back to Japan, I can go, oh, I know where I can go. It'd be absolutely incredible. Yeah, or I can find that ride if I went to Japan and go, okay, great. I want to replicate this, load it in, and then go follow it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't you, you want me to start pulling apart the other helmet, or do you want to take Dude, this stuff take, out while you're... Hey, dude, it's going to take 10, 10 seconds. No, 10 seconds, okay. So all I'm going to do is disconnect yep. your earbuds. Pull these peak pads out. So who fun. wired this? Uh, I, I threw it in there. I mean, <laughs> it, it, yeah, it looks like it. By the way, just you know, for those people that are curious, so this is just a normal, you know, pretty much everyday cheek pad with the material on it with an Arai helmet. You can actually poke this through, like so. All right, and then you can peel this off, like so. Just have to kind of remember which way it orientates, right? And then this is washable. Ask JD Beach, he'll tell you. Like after. Oh God, he washes it every race weekend. Every single race weekend. So completely washable. And then you've heard me on my podcast quite possibly talk about, uh, you know, these cheek pads. And some of these pads have, uh, you know, layers of foam that you can peel away that are five millimeters, right? Five millimeters. Five millimeters. So if the cheek pads you get are a little bit too tight, five millimeter peel away. If you uh, you know have so these are twenty millimeter cheek pads. What other what other widths do these come in? And we got 12, uh, 12, 15, 20, 25, 30, and thirty five. Okay, so yeah, so you can really customize the fit of the Arai helmet right to your face. And one and, of the, one of the things we have to do is because you've enjoyed your time in quarantine. Yes. With lots of cookies and lots of Skittles. Yep. We have to, we, we're actually going to remove one of these layers, uh -huh. but I'm going to give you an extra set of cheek pads because uh -huh. I know on this trip, you're taking the bicycle and I heard that you're doing a hundred miles cycling every race weekend. I don't know where you came <laughs> up with that number, but, but quite possibly, you yeah. know, uh, yeah. So a race weekend, that'd be what? 33 miles a day, <laughs> maybe. So it's real easy. You can kind of see, I wish we had a monitor. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you, you yeah. see the lens. I mean, you know, whatever. We're live. People, people are watching it, right? People still watching? Quite um, possibly. Can, can you open your phone? I don't know. We should be still live. Yeah, we're yeah. still live. Got good kilobits per second and everything else. Click the view your stream. What? It says view your stream. Yeah. Do I want to view my stream? Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. We gotta turn the audio down. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we're all late and stuff, but. Oh, nice. Now we're listening to ours. All right, well, it looks like it's streaming just fine. You know what the radio hosts always say when a guy calls in and is, has the radio station on? Mm. When he's, you know, yelling at him to take it off. But yeah, so we just take these off, and then these just are glued in. Just a real light tack glue, and you just peel it right off. Takes a couple Hold it up to the lens a little closer, yeah. but yeah. That's that's as easy as you want to customize it. Yeah. No need to buy extra cheek pads. No need to buy extra anything extra. Jeff White blowing up your phone right no, now. No, 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 no. But uh, Michael Day says hi, guys. So thank you. Um, just wanted to say hi. Make sure we're still streaming. So we're all good there. We got those pieces out. Now, what I'm going to do, because this is real live, live, I just need to get some Velcro quick. Okay. Do you want me to pull the cheek pads out of this helmet then? Yeah. It's pretty simple. So this helmet, this helmet's brand new. And what I'm going to do is take the bag, take the tag off. Does anybody know what this little bottle is, right? This is... 
This is silicone lubricant, right? For the for the shield. Right? That's what this stuff is. It's for the shield, silicone nice. lubricant for the shield. Yep. So it nice moves nicely. But boss is calling in right now to the office saying, Will you guys stop live streaming from there, please? <laughs> so we just have a little Velcro. I'm gonna take a little patch of Velcro. Mm-hmm. For the back of your speaker. Oh, these are bigger than the ones I had. Yeah, those are the new JBLs. I got those. Yeah. Right. They're a little bit little bit larger, but and shouldn't be that much larger. Right. They're pretty close. So the short one's gonna go on the right. Long one on the left. So we're basically just gonna do is we're gonna take and peel this back, put this sticker on here. And I always take oh I texted him and told him we were here. Oh. Um, I was like, is, is he watching us live on? He could be. Um, so what I do is I actually take and put the Velcro on, and I put it under the cheek pad cover. Oh. So that way it, it looks a little nicer. Yeah, and, and I don't have to mess around with it. No. It's a great idea. I literally just kind of took it and tried to Velcro it to the liner. Yeah. It's also going to save the liner oh, in the long run because that Velcro, even though this is very fine Velcro, it eventually it's going to pull away at the material. See, now it's looks nice, mm -hmm. doesn't do anything. What is what is the boss man saying anyways? Yeah, I thought... <laughs> is he watching? No, he's just, he goes, I thought you guys were gonna be there earlier. Like, yeah, we thought we were gonna be here earlier too, but... Greg started talking to us, everybody, and that's what happens when Greg starts talking. Well, I think I sold two Multistrada V4s. You did. I think, I, I think, uh, I think <laughs> Richie's gonna hire you, hire you after that. <laughs> Uh, it was great though. I mean, it was great to be at Hudson Valley Motorcycles today because I mean, it was a nice day. It was in the mid fifties, sun was shining and the dealership was hopping. There yeah. were a lot of people in uh, either for service, you know, getting their bikes ready for the springtime or just interested in buying motorcycles. And you know, the, the motorcycle industry right now is, is jamming. All right. So I like that. So you, so you got a little bit of Velcro, a thin layer, that has an adhesive, and then it, that Velcro's right, the speaker right into it. Right to the EPS, and that way it's in there, it stays in there. Get those all nice. Make sure the orange tab stays on the bottom of the cheek pad, because there's this cool little emergency release cheek pad yep. system. Yeah. So the EMTs, you know, because you went and ate too much, don't ate too many donuts and had to diabetic attack Krispy Kreme's next week in a <laughs> Chuck Walla Valley Raceway man that's what's gonna happen there um, like I said super easy super clean now let's see if we can't do this and let you guys see here a little bit Stupid alarm clock keeps going off it's time to get up no Everybody always worries about installing the speakers. They feel that's the hardest part. Yeah. And just doing it like this makes it super easy. And then you kind of take and... Pierre, what's going on? Thanks for jumping in, appreciate you. If this was Twitch, I'd be like, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the five gifted. Appreciate you, five gifted on Twitter. Twitch, Twitter. How many platforms are you gonna go on? Uh, let's see. For this ride, Greg's ride to the races, we're gonna. It'll be on some Facebook, some Instagram, some YouTube. I'm going to start a Twitch, so we can get motorcycles on Twitch a little bit, and uh, whatever you know, try to snag as many people as we can. Is it is Twitch be, gonna be where you show everybody how bad you are at Call of Duty? <laughs> Dude, I smoke at Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> That's not what Josh Heron tells me. Well, I mean, you know, it's all perspective, isn't it? I mean, it kind of depends on what you're looking at. So when you play league play in Call of Duty, I am in the bottom 50% of the entire world. The bottom 50%. Yeah, but I don't know where I am because I feel like I might be 49th percent. You know what I'm saying? Like that I'm 1% behind being like the next level, which is so far away from Masters. Anyway. So we're talking about the Arai XD4. This is the helmet. Uh, you're watching Jeff work on it right now that I will be riding. Uh, you know, during the course of the year, I'm going to update everybody where I am, what I'm doing, possibly doing some live streaming from the saddle of the motorcycle with microphone and things for sure, evening vlogs. But you'll be available to catch me on Rever in my community and track me down. And uh, this will be easy to see with that beautiful gray 
you know, multi-strata V4S that, I'll, that I'm riding. Where did you want this? You went up top? Where? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Up there. Because I don't we, want it to block the vent. How about we do right here? Right there in the middle. You think so? Yeah. We'll try it. Sure. And what I'll do is I'll put a longer strip in there. Okay. And that way you can kind of adjust it. Okay. We're talking about where the, where the microphone placement's going to be for the Cardo system. All right, so we're getting this helmet set up. It's 541 local time, the sun's starting to go down, temperature's starting to drop, but I believe I'm gonna get on the road, uh, put fuel in the tank, because the fuel light just came on. Fuel in your tank? Yeah. So we're gonna, I, I gotta feed you too? No, I gotta get on the road, try to make up some time. I got a buddy of mine, John, shout out to John. We just got himself a new BMW and uh, M1000, and he's got to put 400 miles on it before they unlock it. Like they basically oh, leave the thing, you know what I mean? He's got to break it in so he can unlock it. And it will only go to like a certain RPM and stuff. I think so. Wow. Yeah. So it's like we got to put 400 miles on it. So if I get down back home tomorrow, it's supposed to be a nice day down in North Carolina tomorrow. I'll get out and ride with him a bit. Um, also. The first service for the Ducati Multistrada is at a thousand kilometers, so say 620 something miles. Uh, I should have that done by tomorrow, and then we'll get it in for service, get its first oil change taken care of, and then um, we're going to be able to get the radar system unlocked as well, uh, so I can review that and really tell you guys about how adaptive cruise control works and blind spot protection. If you don't know, the Ducati Multistrada V4S is the first motorcycle, I believe, in the world that has a radar system on the motorcycle. Um, and it gives you adaptive cruise control, just like in your car. You can set it, and if you come up on a car, it's going to slow it down. And, and then also uh, has blind spot warning or blind spot protection. So it indicates to you that there are people, vehicles, whatever, in your blind spot. So very interesting to ride with that. The cruise control works phenomenally well. And uh, what's interesting is that as you want to stretch up down the road, you put it on cruise control, we're on the freeway, it wasn't very busy today. And you can just kind of stand up and stretch and the cruise control will just automatically adapt, you know, based off of those conditions. I'm six foot two, a little bit over if I stretch out. And the wind protection has been great. Although I might reach out to Richie at Hudson Valley Motorcycles and they do have an even taller windscreen option. So that's something I might look into. Because when I'm on the bike, if I stretch out, you know, just stretch out, then I get a little bit more wind as opposed to like, if I do this, it's calm. And if I do this, it's just kind of all the same. Yeah. Just until I want to set up nice and nice and tall. So that's yeah. it. That's it. It's all done. Okay. All you got to do is clip on and go. Might try it on before we do it. And the shield? I'll change the shield out later. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it on. This is totally different from the way I've done mine, tucking it in there. Normally, I've had a situation where, you know, like I can feel it when I put on and my ears are going to collapse and stuff. Dude, we do quality work around here. There is nothing that we don't do that isn't just... Uh, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, the, so those cheek pads are a little bit more comfortable. There's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. So this is the system. You put it right there. Yep. Clips in. Turn it on. Probably hear it better too. Can I you? can hear it better, yeah. 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 That's great. I'm going to turn it off just because we're doing the live stream. Oh, yeah. You might have picked up the microphone from inside there. It's probably not the way to take it off. No. Always <laughs> straight up and straight down. Straight up and straight down. All right. So. I'll work with that microphone, make some calls, see how that's working. And if I need to, I can adjust it a little bit. Yep. Adjust it up or down. I didn't even notice the microphone actually, so it might be might be in a really good spot. Yeah, you had it so low before that it, a lot of times the wind will come up underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other thing you can do is you can pull this little chin spoiler down and it blocks a little bit extra. Oh, light. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Again, you've really got to kind of read the manual. <laughs> little chin spoiler to block the winds. <laughs> a lot of features packed into this yeah. Arai XD4. All right, so 
We're going to put the shield on uh, with the anti-fog, I guess. Yep, yep. And then I'm going to get back on the road. And um, if you are, have rubber already and you just want to see me riding, I guess you can just join the community. I think I have to get on there and approve people maybe. Um, no, I think it, they can just follow. It they should can be just able to follow. be a follow, yeah. And so you can follow my deal. And then if you, you know, you're bored and you want to track my progress down to North Carolina, you certainly can do that. It's very easy to do because he drives very, very slowly. Yeah, well, I ride slowly all right well thank you jeff from Arai for having me here on the way down it's always good to stop in in this office thanks always for supporting the podcast absolutely if you're interested in these this helmet the xd4 or any of the other helmets that Arai makes top of the line stuff do yourself a favor go to ryeamericas.com you know, they have antimicrobials about- all right and that that right there was for nolan lampkin so if he's not watching Somebody text Nolan Lampkin and let him know I said that because he's he's a bit of a ball buster, that kid. You, you know, actually, speaking of the podcast, mm-hmm. at the beginning of last season, yeah, we had a bet. We did? On Pulp MX. We did? Yeah. I don't remember that. What oh, was oh, you don't remember it all of a sudden. Dude, we got to get our picks in. Did you get your picks in? Oh, crap. <laughs> Can we end this now? Do we still got like 20 minutes. Where's the race? Arlington? Yeah, Arlington. Okay. All right. Listen, we got we we have but, to go. But anyways, what? yeah. Somebody lost very badly. What 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 I lose? You Did I you bet beat, money. I, I, yeah, uh, I whooped your rear end. There was no money. Oh well, yeah, I mean everybody whipped my rear end. And you're talking about yeah. What, yeah. what was the? But did we bet anything? Yeah, the bag of Skittles. I still have yet to see those Skittles show up. Which bag of Skittles? The big the, bag. The big bag of Skittles. Where are my big bag of Skittles? Because I want to sit there and eat them in front of you. Okay. All right. When do, when do I see you next then? Road Atlanta. All right, I gotta have a big bag of Skittles at Road Atlanta, which means I have to find room in the bags on the Pentagali or so the Multistrada V4. He has to put in there and stuff. You don't understand how hard that's gonna be for him to do. Okay, Jeff Wheel, Arai, thanks for checking out this feed. Feel free to share it, do things like that. Um, you may be watching this on YouTube at some point because I'm gonna take the file and upload it to YouTube. So. You can follow me on Instagram at Greg, Greg White, on. Greg White TV. Yeah. On Twitter at Greg White. That's a whole story how I got that. And of course, hopefully you're watching this on Facebook. So if you took the time to watch this, appreciate it. Time to get back out on the motorcycle with the new lid. So this is the one. If you see me riding to the races, this is what I'm going to be in the XD4. Thanks for joining us. And as I have to unlock my phone one more time and the most horrible ending to a video ever. More content coming at you. More information coming at you soon about Greg's Ride to the Races. Going to those Moto America races on a motorcycle this year, people. Should be a lot of fun. See you out on the road. Bye.